Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Factorio. So last time we set up green science and green circuits. So from what I remember today we were supposed to do some planning and maybe some defenses. So looking at this map we have enemies from the north we haven't really scouted the south, so what I will do is that I will, first and foremost, did I make, I'm not doing any ammo at all, so that's the first step in our defense here, I'm pretty sure I, why haven't I made any ammo, right, well, whatever, we can just have a temporarily um, factory here. Uh, that creates ammo. I was thinking if we should have it in the beginning or in the end of the bus here. I can put it here. I will get pretty upset in like two seconds when I realize that this is a kind of in the way for everything. Put one box over here and tell you to produce bullets. And limit you to 600. Now we can choose our submachine gun, get some firearm magazine. We can also put some arm plates in our bag and create some more firearm magazine. So before start planning let's make sure that we create some kind of uh, some kind of I guess we could call it hmm, oops, some kind of uh, factory for walls because we will need a lot of walls and we will need stone bricks for walls and stone bricks we get in our furnaces so we can create a couple of those after we have finished with our fancy actually that's fine so we will just Set up this miner to bring the stone to these guys instead. So something like that, and then we will have a splitter. I think I created a couple of splitters, maybe not. That will bring. Uh, some coal on that side. We will have some inserters and we need to see what we're doing so let's uh, get rid of these trees. Put on one more of these bad boys. Not quite sure what I'm doing right now, but whatever. So now we got uh, some stone. We could just uh, put it directly into a factory, I guess. But it kind of feels bad to say that oh, we are going to do some planning here, and then I'm just making things super temporarily here but it's fine uh, so we get stone we create bricks we create walls so we would need more than these two furnaces if you want to keep up with the factory these are not really what we should be using any longer. We have better furnaces, but they require steel and we don't have steel production just yet. So, uh, I 
think we will we will manage sooner or later. Like so. So while this guy tries to create some walls and we will just check the power which we added some more last time. It looks fine. Uh, that's a lot of stone. Let's put down... Mm, can I bring all these? So what I want to do is to scout a little bit because I feel like now we have too many furnaces compared to the amount of um, uh, mining drills here. Anyway, so there we go. We have some production going. So while we are producing these, we are going to scout because we need to know if this water will defend us. Like, I don't think there are any biters, which the aliens are called. I don't think there are any biters that can actually swim, so... We might be safe. Do we even have 14 furnaces, or did I build all these right now? Let's actually start some research. Um, we could research Endian because that will go to automobilism, so we can build a car. Um, red belts would be kind of cool, but let's go with Endian. So, looks like we might be on the peninsula here. Which is interesting. So our south side is perfectly protected. We have some copper here in the forest. Which means we only need to defend the western and eastern part. Well, north and west. Now that copper field is interesting, but we also have 3 million and we have 300k down here, so we don't really need to use that. So... Let's take a look at the map. So you can put out labels on the map, which can be pretty useful. I haven't used them before, but let's use them now. So, right now we are getting our iron ore from over here. It will not last forever. Sooner or later we will have to take this iron ore, this copper ore and that uranium. We will also need to bring some oil. And here is our production center. So, what I want to do is to... I said this previously as well, I think I want to have a train station on the eastern side because that way I can feed into uh, where we already are feeding uh, our furnaces so we could have a train. So let's make a tag here and we could call this, let's call it iron station for example and put down an icon train or an iron icon. Well, if I could find the freaking iron. So maybe something like that. And then have copper station and select copper. So maybe we will have them like this or we will have them side by side. That's we have to think about so we we'll most likely bring a train in here now this is pretty close so we could do it without the train but it's more fun with trains um, and this could be so bringing bringing in oil 
I kind of want to have oil down here, I think. So, oil station. I would like it if you could move these. Maybe you can somehow. Maybe we should have a coal station here somewhere as well. Now the coal should mostly go to the power plant, so maybe it should be on the north side here. We will use coal for quite a while. So, so there's our stations. We will have our manufacturer here, and I guess we can have this as a lab. Something like that. And we have melting, smelting here. Smelting in this area. Lab here, production down here. And down here I'm thinking about having our oil processing. Well, we will have our trains coming in here and then maybe oil further down south. So what else do we need to create a car? Logistics 2. Well, let's get that. We could increase research speed. but Let's go with logistics. Actually, research speed is faster, so it's fine. So we have a forest here, which is, I guess, kind of defending us. It will at least make it really difficult to make a wall down there. A lot of shopping, shopping wood that is. I mean, we will realistically reach this when we expand our um, we expand this production site. Let's go and get some bullets. 262, sure. Oh, here, no. And create a couple of gun turrets. See how many wall sections we have. It's not like it's particularly fast building a stone wall. But it's not really that difficult either, it's just a lot of stone, so... Anywho... So how far north do we want our base? So, many, so much f forest in the way, that's the, the issue. think pretty good spot I mean I would like to use this section since we have water here we could just make a wall out to the west but uh, I will have to accept my limits we are not going to be able to do that right now so we will well actually we could even be cheaper than this and just see if we don't have any stations just yet we could just make a wall from over here need to get a new axe soon but let's make a temporary wall here Where is our lamb? Okay, that looks fine. We're running out of uh, wall sections, but no. Boom. And put down one of these. So, usually, what do I do with my ammo? Usually, you want to have your turrets one square away from 
the wall so the biters can't reach. There are ranged uh, biters which will reach anyways, but the melee biters will have a hard time reaching. So we can put down. You can see the range of these turrets, so for sake of it, let's have them so they cover each other. We will need a lot of <laughs> walls for this. So maybe we need to increase the production here. Let's see, 39. Actually, we can just let it go for a bit. Never mind. <laughs> I have a hard time deciding here, but let's let's go a bit crazy here and make effort so something like that we need power we need inserters now this game is a lot about automating stuff so building things manually is not really the way you're supposed to do this so You can make blueprints. I don't have that many. Can, um, how much steel is required to make a steel axe? Well, let's just make an iron axe. So, in my blueprint manual, I have electric mining. If you have, um, if you have robots that can build for you, you can just put down one of these and they will build this for you so but until you have robots you can still use it for uh, just making it easier for yourself so you can see what you want to place where so it's pretty useful uh, if nothing else it's i guess it's really useful if you're playing multiplayer do we have any power poles? Maybe not. So you know what other guy is planning. So we got some more miners. Do you want to have even more? Not really. I don't want to use all my freaking coal to build a wall. But Let's actually take a look at our coal production. Maybe we will fit one more or two more in here. And maybe even a gun turret. And one miner left. Hmm. Let's create one more. They are getting a little bit crowded on one side here, so let's have a splitter. Brings it on both sides. Looks a bit better. These guys are not keeping up with all the furnaces though, so we could, if we want to, we could put in even more here. This is mostly just because I kind of want to save, save some time. Um, we're not going to look at this while they build, but we will... Let them do their thing. We will need to have a faster inserter here though. We can put two here. You can actually put 
two fast ones even. Right. Um, logistics, and then we will be able to research the car. However, in order to use the car, we will need to have steel. And the steel has another purpose as well, because it will actually make it possible to make the tier 2 furnaces, the steel one. So, And that we need stone bricks for as well. Which means we might actually need these stones for more than just walls. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's have you putting in some stone bricks over there. It's not fancy, but it will work. So we need to produce steel in order to make our car. Why is this researching so freaking slowly? Need more labs I guess. Let's go and get our wall show on the road. So like I said, usually you want to uh, don't save the space, so I'm kind of contradicting myself here when I uh, make this wall so close to the base. But it will take forever for me to get enough uh, bricks to actually make this wall happen otherwise. So I think we will actually expand to the west with these research labs because we will need uh, more and more different colors on these science bulbs, whatever they are called. So let's just clear this area. Stupid tree. And then we will get some power. I don't know so much about that power up there, but it's so difficult to see what's actually happening behind this. Okay, we don't have power there, we have power there. Okay, so that should increase the research speed a little bit. And that's a big part of this game, it's actually just making sure you have a lot of research speed. Still have power, not that much though. I'm thinking if we want to start making steel. sure about it. This guy is actually a little bit too fast for its own good, but oh, that's fine. It's a fine, we have plenty of walls now. We will just uh, go down and get some ammo and get some plates so we can make a couple of more turrets. I wouldn't mind uh, getting Something. <laughs> it's, it's hard to hard to think and play at the same time. That was by mistake. We can reinforce the wall a little bit over there. 
Oof. Still pretty far away. Oh yeah, I, I what I was going to say is that I wouldn't mind uh, making at least one smelter for steel because it would be really beneficial to be able to create steel furnaces. So we could actually. We get some coal somewhere, I guess we can get some coal up here. So let's just for the sake of it start really really small production. Again, this might be just temporarily, I haven't really decided yet. This would be so, so freaking stupid, but hey. Sometimes you do stupid stuff. That's that's just human, so So yeah, this is just temporary, like I said before, but because I'm feeling a little bit ashamed of myself right now when I make this. But make one more, uh, like that. So from iron plates we can create steel. This is a super slow process and it requires a lot of uh, plate iron. So now let's before we end we will actually put in some more science. So these guys will pick up from these four belts. I guess. And then we will actually let's just make it simple and we will then have another row of these over here. Something like that. Let's go and get some inserters down here. Here we go. running out of inserters. Look at that, we are running out of freaking uh, iron. No, that's not a great sign. But it's something that will happen quite a lot. science up here. Let's see if we can build this in a similar fashion. Alright, logistics. I will actually wait with automobilism <laughs> automobilism to, until the next episode because I kind of want to add that as the goal for the next one but I wouldn't mind researching it a little bit faster, so... Let's get these guys... Like that... So, now we can research it super fast! It's getting a little bit too close to this patch of iron ore, but... So be it. 
Let's just take a look down here. Yeah. The inserters are lacking some iron to say the least. But when we will up we will kind of upgrade to these steel furnaces. In the next episode we will also create some uh, some kind of car. So it should be fine. Let's just make sure that we put down the last section of the wall before we end. So, yoink, stone wall. Do I want to have stone bricks? I feel like sometimes you end up with too much junk in your trunk. So, as you can see, this is a really slow process. Which is good because I don't want to waste all my iron creating uh, steel right now. But where were we? Do we have to cut down the whole freaking forest for this? Whew! Alright, well I will do that off camera. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you again next time when we research the car. And maybe do some scouting. We will also most likely produce steel. We will see. Thank you and goodbye.